Hi, my name is Captain Jeff. I teach sailing at the Sailing Academy on the Chesapeake Bay. Our goal is to help you get the tools and the skills you need to fulfill your sailing dreams. Today I'm going to be talking about the anatomy of a winch. If you look at this right here, this is one of the primary winches. We've got two primaries on this boat. We've got two secondaries. We have a couple of winches up at the mast and then also on the doghouse there's another, another winch for handling the main sheet. So you've got a lot of winches aboard a sailboat. The reason for the winch is for it to take the force of a line. On a smaller boat, like a dinghy, you can probably take the sheet. This is the starboard jib sheet. And you could probably take this sheet, have it go through a block, and then maybe through a little cleat, but you can hold on to the sheet with just your hands like this, having it go directly to, led directly to the sail. But on a big boat, you can't handle that force once the wind picks up. So you always want to take at least one turn around a winch before cleating it off or putting in the self-tailor. So first of all, let's take a look at this, um, the parts of the winch. You've got the base down here. Up here you have the drum, and you can see it's got this rough spot in the drum. And then you have the, um, the top of the winch. Now this has a self-tailor on it. If you look back at this one, this is a normal uh, winch with no self-tailor. It just has the lip on the top without the self-tailor unit. And we'll go over why, um, why both of those are, are helpful. This one, here, if you load it up, you're always going to load them clockwise. If you're not sure how to load the winch, just spin it, and it'll only turn one way. It'll lock the other direction. The way it spins is the way you're going to load it. So we're going to load the winch up. You notice it goes from the bottom all the way to the top, and you only have one wrap going all the way around. You don't want this line to cross itself or you get an override. The base is meant to feed the line up to the drum. That's why it's slanted like that, to feed the line up, and then it comes around the drum. And as you go, in, in light air, you can get by with one or two wraps. In heavier, medium air, you're going to give it two or three wraps. And then if it's really picking up out there, then you want to give it about um, three to four wraps. As it comes up to the top of the winch, now let's say I can trim my sail in as much as I possibly can. I can't bring it in anymore, so now I'm going to put it into the self-tailor. It goes through the silver guide first, and then the top jaws of the self-tailor give it a little bit of a tug, and that jaw, those jaws are going to hold that line so I don't have to cleat this, this off somewhere else. Now, if I want to trim this, the, 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 the jib sheet in a little bit, I can put my uh, winch handle in. Now I can go um, in a clockwise fashion and that's going to give me uh, a two to one um, advantage. If I go in a counterclockwise um, motion, that's going to give me a one to one. The, the winch both still, still turns the same way, still brings the line in, but it's like a first and second gear on a, on a bicycle. Then to get it off, you push the little button and that winch handle will slide out. Never leave a winch handle in a winch like that. It's dangerous. This thing can spin around. Um, it's a hunk of metal. It can hit somebody's arm. It can break their arm. So never leave a winch handle in the winch. Always grab it on the middle, take it out, and then put it away. Stow it when it's not in use. Then when you're, it's time to put the winch handle in, grab it by the middle, put it in like that. Make sure it's seated all the way down, then go ahead and grind the winch as needed, and then go ahead and take it out, put, it, put that back away. Now, um, this one behind me does not have the self-tailor unit. Let's take a look at that one. We'll lead this same line back to it. And you can see it has the same basic parts. It has the, the base, it has the drum, and then the lip to it. So when I put a line around it, now when I pull this in, I can't put it in the self tail to hold it. So I'm technically the tailor right now, and then I would need another person to come over and be the grinder for me. My grinder is gonna come over, it's gonna put the, the winch handle in the top, he's gonna grind the winch in, so I'm trimming my sail as I'm bringing it in. And then once I'm done, I'm going to have to tie it off on this cleat right here. That's what this cleat is for, is to tie that off, and I'm going to tie my cleat hitch. Um, check out our knot 
tying um, videos and they'll help you tie a great cleat hitch just like that one. Now the cleat hitch is going to help hold it. It does not have a self tailor. The self tailor is nice, but it also does get in the way sometimes and I don't want it to get caught. I use this one for flying my spinnaker because I don't want my spinnaker to get caught up in there. I'm usually flying the spinnaker and we're holding it the whole time to make sure that uh, it doesn't get um, tripped up or if we get overpowered we can ease out really quick and spill some air. So those are the two basic style of winches and um, if you have any questions or comments feel free to leave them below but um, if you like the video please hit our like button and subscribe to our channel. We try to give lots of sailing tips that are, that are helpful on, on this site. We would also like to see you come out to the Sailing Academy sometime, take a class with us.